What is, exactly is Allah? So when you say he has a face and hands, yeah. is it literal or is it like a metaphor? Yeah, sure. So we know that Allah says in the Quran, that means there is nothing like unto Allah. There's nothing in the in the creation. Okay. Yes. Sorry, in Allah's creation, like the Creator. Yeah. So the Creator is distinct from the creation. So when when Allah mentions certain things, like also in the Hadith, we uh, Allah has mentioned the Qalam, the pen, and Allah mentions in the Quran uh, the Lahul Mahfuz, which means the the preserved tablets. Now, obviously, in human understanding and for the benefit of human beings, Allah uses this terminology so we can relate to it. So when when Allah says pen, obviously we. He doesn't mean the pen that you have in the 21st century or in the in, uh, 1400 years ago, a different pen. Yes, the pen in the case is something that writes. That's all we understand from it. Yes, how it is, what it is, we don't know what it is. Okay. Yes, so there is a pen for sure and there is a tablet for sure. Again, the term tablet, today we have tablets, yeah? The, the devices we have, they are called tablets. Then we have the, the clay tablets in the olden in the olden era. So 21st century technology with uh, 2000 years maybe from today. Yes, they're both called tablets, but they mean different things. Now in the case when Allah says Lahul Mahfuz, the preserved tablets, we don't know what exactly they are, how they look, but they're, they're uh, basically, the, it, it's the same concept to record things on. But then in yes. terms of his face and his hands. What... I'm coming, I'm coming, yes. I'm coming to that. So Allah, does he have a face? Yes, he has a face. Does he have hands? Yes, he has hands. Does he have a shin? Yes, he has shin. So just like the terminology for human beings to understand with the case of a pen and a tablet. Time? Okay. So, yeah, so just similarly, this is language for the benefit of human beings to relate. But that doesn't mean Allah has a hand like our hand or like a hand of any of his creation or a face like that of, a, of, of any of his creation. So, like I said from the beginning, Allah is distinct from his creation. Hope that answers your question. Three, two, one, go. So, uh, so, in terms of... It says for Allah has a throne. So yeah. this is why I was asking because now, same concept. In terms of His throne, would it be literal or would it be something that is like metaphorical? And also another question I would ask is same. The answer is the same. But yeah, if you could explain. But, yeah, sure. No and problem. also, where according to the Islamic definition, yeah. where is Allah? Where is Allah? Yes. Okay. So once again, with regards to the throne, Allah has. A throne, obviously, yes. It says in uh, Ayat al Kursi, uh, sorry, not the Kursi, uh, yeah, in, in Ayat al Kursi, and also in other places with regards to the throne. So the term Kursi, yes, it can mean a chair, it can mean a throne. Allah does have a throne. Now, how it is, we don't know, but it is a creation of Allah, yes, and it extends over the waters, like it says in, the, in, in, in one of the surahs. And it's something that we don't know. We, in the hadith, it tells us about its magnitude, how big it is with regards to the, the throne. But it doesn't tell us exactly what it is, but it's, a, it's, it's one of the creations of Allah. In fact, some of the ulama say it is one of the first creations of Allah. Yes, so even before the pen and so on. Now, what is the other question? Where is Allah? Where is Allah? Yeah. Look, Allah, for us, time and space is something we relate to. Where was Allah before the time and space existed? Where was he? So this is something that transcends beyond time and space. Okay. So with regards to his position, Allah says in the Quran that he's above, above the heavens yeah. or above the, above the throne. Now this is again direction, but in terms of human understanding, he, he basically trans, uh, transcends that. So we, we know that these are the creations of Allah, even the, uh, the, the time and space itself, and Allah is not bound by them. Okay. Okay. So, because in um, Al Hakak 69:17, yeah, it says, "And the angels will be on its side, and the eight angels that they will bear the throne of your Lord above." Yeah. So now the throne is being described as physical. Yeah, it's a creation of Allah. I told you. But then Allah is on the, like, so why would Allah have a physical throne, but then He's not necessarily on the throne? No, no, no. He's above the throne. Okay. What does it say? Read the read the hadith. No, it's a. Uh, it didn't say. Does it say he was sitting on the throne? So, in terms of, like it says in the Bible, God is on the throne and Jesus is on his right hand side, and the twelve disciples also have a throne. So, in the case of the Bible, they're literally sitting on the thrones. 
Well, when we look at the Arabic, so if we go into 25... When you look at the Arabic, do you read Arabic? So, well, I, I've got the explanation. So it says the beneficent one who is established on the throne. Exactly, established now, on the throne. Yes. Yes, it's different now, from sitting on the, the throne. The Arabic word is istawa, which means literally he positioned himself on no, the throne. istawa means he ascends. Doesn't mean positions himself on the throne. So if God is above cre creation, how can he ascend? Because that then is an attribute of creation. Yeah, once again, I'm telling you, you're looking at it in terms of time and space. Yes. Remember I said he's beyond that. Yes. So he transcends that. It is for our understanding that yes. Allah relates to you in human language. Yes. Like the case of the throne, the pen, the tablets, the hands, the face, all these things. Okay. But for you to relate it in the case of Allah, he is something beyond the time, the yes. space, the creation. So every creation of Allah is beyond, basically is beyond all that. Okay. Now we, Allah, as far as Muslims are concerned, yeah. He gave us an understanding. Now, the how of that, yeah. He hasn't told us. Okay. So this is something which is, again, the knowledge of the unknown.